Wow, that was one of my best days ever. Hi traders, welcome to a recap of my second best day ever. Yes, it happened today with BIAB. Now BIAB started with a gap up today and it's trending higher and it's up 2% while the market is really flat and in fact a little bit down. So I like the fact that the BIAB is trending higher. Uh, it has a fantastic daily because it's moving up. Nice upside momentum. It's a big mover and I'm about to, to click the button and to buy 4,000 shares. And I'm clicking the button buying 4,000 shares right now. I am aware that it's pretty. As you can see, I started like $1,300 down. Now it's almost four grand but here comes a big upside move I was looking for three points profit three points stop loss it was 30 cents away and look what happened well I did not get the chance to, to take my partial and it just crashed down but it came down very strong in just five minutes and I never ever move out on spikes never although my stop loss was only three dollars down I should have moved out but according to my rules and I've done a lot of videos about this one never ever move out on spike now my stop loss now lies under 286 and it's halted let's take a look at five minute candles here's how it looked so here comes the five minute spike down and again you never move out on spikes that's the right technical thing to do especially when the stock is just coming down to close the gap because when it comes down to close the gap it could easily change direction my stop loss is just 20 or 30 cents down and it just got halted so what do you do well the uh, once the stock is getting halted uh, there's uh, several ways of dealing with this and uh, we'll fast forward now and we'll see what happened there but uh, basically you just wait for it to calm down and then you have a stop under the lows it, it, it's, it's not exactly easy to say where is it supposed how, how it starts or I don't know how it's going to start but let's just take a look and see what happened there but again the idea is to let it calm down and once it calms down you could have a technical stop under the recent lows and just let's take a look at uh, what happens once it uh, returns well it's been halted for a long time but apparently Biogen is the first company ever to find a cure to Alzheimer's so <laughs> look at what happens when it just opens up again and here we go I'm up $540,000 now is that luck of course it is luck but the fact is I hang on to my rules I did not move out when it spiked down earlier because obviously it came down on some kind of a somebody knew something anyway it came out and I'm up $560,000 and I am not moving out because again it starts with a lot of volume and it's uh, very quick to move I'm over $600,000 and I have to wait until it comes down it doesn't matter if you're in the money making money or losing money you always have to wait until the stock that you're trading comes down you don't you do not want to move out on spikes so the stop right now should be under the recent low under this bottoming tail right there so I'm waiting for it and it's getting halted again now that's a problem because I was supposed to move out when it moves under the lows and again it's halted so again the same rule applies it's going to come back with a lot of volume and with a lot of volatility and I need to wait until it comes down again and it did move under the lows at that point I needed to calm down I cannot move out and again it's just like trading on a spike it's just like trading on news it's just like trading on with a lot of volume and I need to take a look at the closest possible uh, technical reversal I could find as you can see here I already have that I do have this bottoming test so I'm going to use a stop order right here and I'm going to uh, use the number 399.99 which means um, approximately not approximately one cent under the lows I just click the button so as you can see I have the stop order in the system 39999 uh, well hopefully the $400 whole number is going to help me because sometimes you find a lot of buyers at whole numbers so right now as you can see that's a recent low I do not want it to move under $400 if it does move I have a hard stop in the system I want to be sure that it's activated very quick and well it's getting close as you can see uh, to my stop so anyway the stock is now trending lower and I'm sure that it's not moving on spikes on quick uh, price spikes on high volume and it just touched there right now and I just uh, came out of this trade with an automated stop loss order and the end result 
well four hundred and twenty five thousand dollars not a small winner in Facebook <laughs> very small compared I'm, I'm just having my second best ever uh, day as a trader my best was 1.3 million in the uh, in the time of the corona crash but right now that's definitely is my second best ever and you know what I kept to my rule I, and I, I worked according to my rules and you, you just need to remember never move out on spikes uh, when you get halted when you have a case when you get halted just wait until the price comes down sometimes you win sometimes you lose in this case the price came down but who am I to know it could have continued higher now of course it's a combination of luck and knowledge I did not move out and I did manage to finish uh, with a great trade thank you for watching and if you did like this video how about giving us a thumb up we really appreciate that helps our channel helps more people like you find uh, and learn more about uh, day trading and there's a lot of links right here below which you can click on if you want to join my trading team if you want to trade with us in our live trading room because everything this trading video was really a live trade in our uh, live trading room so thank you for watching again and I'll see you in my next video